Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. We're here with one of my favorite things, which is our musical guests. I love the talent and the energy, and you you guys love them too. And they're here to share their story. We have Nightbreakers here. Welcome, guys. How you doing? Good. Doing good. Good. All right. So we're gonna have. Uh, there's four of them. We're gonna do origin story first. I think I told you guys, that um, origin story is what everybody loves. They want to know about your background, whether you write songs, were you one of those kids that performed in front of your families and all of that good stuff? Because uh, people love the journey. They want to know kind of how you all came together. Uh, we're going to start first with Dan Smith. What's up, Dan? Hello, I'm Dan. How you doing? All right, so tell us a little bit about you, and then I'll have you go around and introduce the other guys, please. So my name's Dan. Um, I play guitar in the band, um, and I kind of joined a little bit after the band started. Bell and Zach explain that a little <laughs> bit. Um, the members we have here are going to be Zach here, Logan, and then Spencer on bass. And then we also have one more member, David, who couldn't make it today, but he's here. In yes, there's five of you. Yes, there's yes, he's the second guitar. Cool. Yep. All right. So did you uh, did you play guitar for a long time, Dan? Was this uh, the only instrument you play, how did you how did you decide that you wanted to do music as you got older? So when I was five years old, my parents uh, signed me up for guitar lessons. Um, and that's kind of just how I started. I've come from a musical family. So like my dad plays guitar, my brother's a drummer. So I kind of just have been doing this for since I was five. So I don't even remember like when you I got started. music in your blood and your yeah, family. Yeah. All right. Who's yeah. next? Well, I'll go next. Um, I'm Zach, and um, my brother and I actually started the band a few years ago. It was kind of us just jamming around uh, with our family. Um, I would like write songs and sing, and he would play bass and stuff like that. Um, and then around three years ago, we met this this guy right here, and he he kind of just took us to the next level. Um, so we decided to form a band with a drummer that we had at the time, and David, who's not here, and that's when we met this guy and he literally <laughs> changed the game for us you know? nice all right game changer game changer um, yeah i play drums and uh i've been playing for about 12 years now same thing my parents signed me up for lessons when i was a little little boy shout and, out uh, parents shout out parents. Yeah, parents. <laughs> we force you to do that kind of stuff don't we yeah. i didn't really like it at first i was like man this sucks i don't like to practice <laughs> So when a couple of years got in, I started playing some bands around Tampa and just fell in love with it and just love it. found out it's what I wanted. And then how about Zach's brother that I didn't catch your name in the back? We don't want to not give you at least a little one-on-one -on -one time. Yeah, um, I'm Spencer. Um, like he said, uh, we grew up together and he introduced me to like playing music and we would play in front of our, you know, our parents. Uh, and I played, like, the crew at me at the time, and then I learned through um, middle school band. I learned how to like play the bass and like all the you know musical elements of that. Um, and then from then on, I was just in bands with him until we all formed the group. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, go ahead, Zach. That was when I think like everything was really concrete for the two of us and David. Was once we had Dan and Logan, we were like, okay, we really have something special. Um, just because it really kind of helped us enhance our musicality, kind of being DIY. And then both of them who were, you know, classically trained by teachers in a lesson setting, we both taught each other and learned through YouTube. So for us, it was cool. more it was DIY. <laughs> so how does it work? Um, I'm always fascinated by the dynamic in bands. Uh, you know, you've got four, you guys actually have five members, right? There's five yeah. of you. What's that like when it comes to the collaborative part, when you're writing music, performing? Um, is it difficult to try to figure out how to maneuver through five different people's personalities? Or are you guys uh, on the same page most of the time? Honestly, for music, I feel like we're generally on the same page. Obviously, there's a little bit of back and forth. Like, I mean, like, you can do it the most, I think, like trying to figure yeah. things out. It's just, you know... Everybody has their own like vision and goal as to how we can all, you know, get a song sounding good. Um, and a lot of the times, you know, someone might think that going this direction is a good way and the other one might think completely the other thing. So it just kind of 
is a process on like- You guys bounce off each other, which is great. You're creative, brainstorm. Do you write all of your songs all together as a band or do some of you write some and others write others? How does, how does that process work? So we have two like main methods for writing music. One is just like the live band setting where we'll be kind of just jamming out, you know, he'll have a drum beat or he'll have a guitar riff and we'll all start doing it. And then it'll get to the point where like, I'll start singing over it. Um, the other way that we sometimes kind of create music together is uh, I actually have a home studio and we'll kind of sit there we'll start building out little demos. And uh, sometimes that's the route we take. Cool. So it's, it's very collaborative for us. Um, it usually starts at something small, like a guitar riff or a chorus idea. And then once it's at that point is when we start to, to collaborate and bring it to the next level. So and how, how would you, do, Zach, how would you all describe your uh, music for people? Cause I did the bio obviously, and I shared everything, but you know, it's still good to let them know um, what kind of music are you all over the place? And then you have to tell us where Nightbreakers came in to play. All right. Uh, well, as far as a uh, musical style, it's, we just, it's the best to say pop rock, um, but we do everything. Like we have a song called No More Sad or we've got vocal chops and it's very like, almost like EDM type music. And we have Nashville off that same EP where it's country. It's like a country riff. It's a slow ballad type song. Um, so we use pop rock, but we, we really try and add elements of every single genre from hip hop to classical to orchestration and stuff like that. Um, I love it. You guys, Zach, you're obviously the spokesperson. I can tell. <laughs> I'm just the, to the camera. You're the first person there. <laughs> um, when you all perform, do you get? Um, tell us about that because 2020 was such a challenge, right? For live performance. When you guys pivoted, did you perform on Zoom? Did you just collaborate on songs? Did you? And what have you done for 2021? Now that it seems like the performance stuff is starting to come back. Uh, so we did, we did quite a few live streams. We played a few Zoom calls with um, some other like organizations that had us on. And we did a few Instagram lives as well. Those are always like super fun because we get to stream right to our like main group of like audience, I guess. Nice. Um, so that's always really nice to do. And just playing a lot of live streams here and there and <laughs> trying, to, trying to make the best of it, record some songs. So trying to do everything without playing shows. <laughs> Play shows. Well, it was without. hard, right? I mean, cause you guys, you guys feed off the performance. You get a lot from your audience and you, that's, that really charges up. And most of the time makes it really an interactive um, experience. So if you don't have that, um, that must, that must have been, it was a challenge for a lot of the groups and, and performers who have come on to just try to adapt because this, even though this is the, this is better than nothing, it's still new having to have a conversation like this and to perform on a streaming channel. But I think 2020 taught us that um, you can do anything and you artists certainly uh, were resilient in doing that. All right, tell me the name. Why the name? What's Nightbreakers um, mean? I'm gonna take it, I think you probably know the best. So basically what happened was um, we kind of decided to rebrand and with that rebranding process, we kind of decided to have a new name with it. Um, so basically, um, we all just kind of like for two weeks straight, just kept throwing names out there. And our music, like we have certain themes that we try to have, and one of those is the night. So we went through tons of different names, like Night Drive was a close second. <laughs> so then, <laughs> someone just like said Nightbreakers. See, I still think Apparently it was you. Me. I, I really don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. We were, we were he had some really like, bad ones. Like, I had <laughs> All little trees, like the little things that people hang from their dash, their that their rear view. He's like little trees, idea. little trees, and we're like little oh. trees. <laughs> you, yeah, I like Nightbreakers a lot better than little trees. I have to go with you on that. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to perform for us? You want to tell? You haven't talked oh, too much. We're going to play Chord of Midnight, right? <laughs> yeah, explain uh, yes. What am I going to explain? You think you're the one who wrote the lyrics? So, so initially, <laughs> this came out two weeks ago. Yeah, about yep. two weeks ago. Song in two weeks. And we have a music video for it, too. Which, which he co-directed, actually. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, we're we're ready for you. You ready? All right. All right. All right. Nightbreakers, guys. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Hey, hey. 
I don't usually get like this, I promise And if I'm being honest, I never thought we'd get this far Now I'm staring at you through a plain screen Could this be the real thing? I can't really know for sure But I've been a little lost, a little bit cautious Never been the type to open up my heart till now I don't have a clue where we're going Kinda wanna know, could you, could you, could you help me out? I'm falling, I'm falling, don't act like I'm see-through This feels like the first time, just let me adore you These inches, like miles, like oceans between us No, I don't wanna waste another minute without you hey, It's already a quarter to midnight, I wanna feel like this forever, you and I Stay with me tonight, cause I just wanna be with you It's already a quarter to midnight I wanna be like this forever, you and I This forever, this forever oh, I almost forgot what it feels like to feel alive Lately I've been watching all the stars fall In your eyes, moonlight dancing on the hood of my car as we drive on Looking for the right was to see, but I get tongue tied We can leave the lights of the city in the rear view Love watching you scream your favorite songs to the windshield If you ever leave, honey, that could devastate me Wondering what's on your mind and if we're thinking the same things Falling, I'm falling, don't act like I'm see-through This feels like the first time, just let me adore you These inches, like miles, like oceans between us No, I don't wanna waste another minute without you oh, oh. It's already a quarter to midnight And I wanna feel like this forever You and I Stay with me tonight Cause I just wanna be with you It's already a quarter to midnight And I wanna feel like this forever You and I This forever, this forever Oh Falling, I'm falling, don't act like I'm see-through Cause I can't waste another minute without you It's already a quarter to midnight And I wanna feel like this forever, you and I This forever, this forever oh. All right, that was all right, man, I got to tell you, I, you can check me out and see that I'm going to tell you the truth right now. That has got to be the best performance we've had live. That was unbelievable. Well, thank you. I kept, you know, the other reason why now that I've done this, that I take myself off is if you guys are really bad, I can't hide my face. So um, I literally have to go solo layout for you because in case I'm wincing or making faces because it's that bad. Nobody wants to see that. I almost put myself on so you could see me moving. Oh, you! I think you guys can, but they can't. Um, that was unbelievable, really. That was so good. You know, I'm a. My kids are probably a little older than you, but that had such a cool, like, Backstreet Boys feel, or a little harsher. You know, a little. But your voice is amazing. Well, thank so, you. Yeah, we were doing that one. We just wanted to. I mean, I. I think it's my favorite song still we've ever put yeah, out. That yeah. is an awesome I, We love song. this. Like this is one where when we like had it all put together, we're like, we're, we're like super proud of this. There's nothing we change. It, it was just one of those songs that I think artists don't experience a lot. Um, and you know, for me, and I, you I had to change, you all had to change. Um, people don't realize that you, you singing that and that everybody keeping in time, it's not as easy as you all make it look. Because <laughs> you had to change a few things. There's, you know, you had to go based on your the the range. Um, I think you guys did an amazing job. That was awesome. Do you want to sing a second one? I mean, that's how much I like that. If you want to, uh, it's up to you. Yeah, we do. Okay, back. So this one's a little bit slower, but this one's really really fun too. All right, here we go. All right, let's do it. It's called Back to, and we released it actually a year ago this month. So it was like the first week of May. Awesome. Alright. Hey. Feelings. Yeah, I just gotta tell you how I'm feeling. But I just can't feel this way without you. Maybe I'm just out of my head. 
reasons Yeah, I'm sure you probably got your reasons But I just wanted to be what you needed Now I'm sleeping on my own again We built a castle just to watch it fall Broken hearted and it's all my fault Who you think that we could work it out? Honestly Honestly, I wish we could go back to, back to how it was when we were in love But now it's all gone, I know I'm gonna sound crazy and never see the right things, I had it all wrong But I think we should go back to, back to summer sunsets with you in my arms With you in my arms, cause I always go back to, back to I wish we could go back to, back to me and you you don't know what you got until they leave you And you scroll past them with somebody else Hey, hey, is it the thrill of the chase? Cause I'm so, I'm so jealous Looks like you're better up now I'm feeling so pathetic I didn't give you enough And now I'm stuck here regretting Letting you walk away We built a castle just to watch it fall Broken hearted, could we work at all? Pulling out for a miracle But honestly, honestly I wish we could go back to Back to how it was when we were in love But now it's all gone I know I'm gonna sound crazy And never see the right things I had it all wrong But I think we should go back to Back to summer songs Just with you in my arms With you in my arms Cause I always go back to Back to I wish we could go back to Back to me, oh, and I'll take all the blame. I can't just see you living in a fantasy. Cause I'm scared to live without you now. And I'll take all the blame. I can't just see you living in a fantasy. Cause I'm scared to live without you now. I wish we could go back to, back to how it was when we were in love But now it's all gone, I know I'm gonna sound crazy And never see the right things, I had it all wrong But I think we should go back to, back to summer sunsets With you in my arms, with you in my arms Cause I always go back to, back to I wish we could go back to, back to Me, oh, back to Back to me, oh, back to, back to me, oh, back to, back to me, oh. Hey, hey. Guys, that's amazing. I didn't even look at my phone the whole time, which is sometimes <laughs> what I do during performances. Not look at your phone. Who reps you? You, you? you should have good representation. I hope you do. Um, how did you find the show? Um, you our, found it, correct? Our publicist, yeah, yeah. B Square or Sherry, who, I, I, whatever. I think you guys are amazing, honestly. Thank amazing. you. Thank you. So, um, all right. So, how do they find you? How can they get your music? Where can they go? What's the best best way to find out what's coming up next? Sign up for a newsletter. Tell yeah, us. yeah. That link at the bottom, scrolling the nightbreakers.com is a link to everything. Um, and then Nightbreakers spelled that same way on Instagram and Twitter, Facebook all that stuff. We're also on Apple Music and Spotify. So if you like either of the songs we just played, they're on there. I think they're our top two right now, right? Uh, maybe Attention's up there. Attention's top two. Yeah. Back yes. to top so. three. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. I, I want everybody to go out and support. You've got to support our artists, guys. So mm -hmm. 2020 was crazy. Let's get out, especially talent. This yeah. is more than just a pipe dream. You guys are really, really Really well, thank good. You. We yeah. appreciate that. So I, I appreciate you coming on. Come back anytime. You got something new you want to release. Go to Nightbreakers and it's spelled a certain way down there.com. You can also find them on Facebook under that, Instagram, Twitter, I think. Um, they're everywhere. So reach out. I love both of those songs. I'm definitely going to put them on my playlist. Um, fantastic job, guys. Excellent. Thank you so thank much. You. Absolutely amazing. Guys, go out and support <laughs> Nightbreakers. All right. We'll be back soon. Thanks, guys.